all right let's take a new file uh, to create the digital clock and let's save the file and let us name it as digital clock hit save to save the file now we need to uh, draw a rectangle to create a background for this exercise let us remove the stroke and we just need to change the size to stage size 640 by 480 let's place exactly the center of the stage let us use a line to make it center and we need to fill with radial gradient and let's change the colors as we require we'd like to fill with gradient of red and black as we require I'm just choosing the dark red color as in center color okay here is the uh, background gradient let us lock the layer and let's create a new layer and we require one text object which is supposed to be dynamic which is supposed to be dynamic let's change the size font size and uh, adjust the size of the text object on the stage let us place it center of the stage and we need to apply instance name to it glow time txt we just need to embed the font click on embed from the property panel and let's choose the options click ok now we need to take sample text inside the dynamic text field I'm just taking that 0 0 0 0 0 0 and let's fix the color of the text and we need to apply glow filter just to have the glow around the text and let's take blur x and blur y value as in 20 let us save the file now and we need to create base class for this and let us name that class as a digital clock and click ok it creates an action script file let's save the file with the same name digital clock and now we need to create one data object to get the date properties and methods and now my data object name is that my date and let's define the type as date and equal to new date as in class we require three more variables to store hours minutes and seconds let us declare them as hours equal to my date dot hours next variable is minutes and let us define the data type as in star should accept that all types of data equal to my date dot minutes and another variable is, is supposed to be seconds the same data type and the default value must be my date dot seconds now we need a timer to execute uh, my data object for every second my timer is the object name here and I just want to take that interval time as 1000 milliseconds which is supposed to be delay and we need to create our custom function I think my custom function name is that update clock and I'm just calling that function for the first time in public uh, function and we need to define that update clock out of the public fun function 
which is supposed to be private function private function and the function name is update clock now inside this function we need to add hours minutes and second values to the text object my text object name is that glow time txt that text equal to then we need to define that variable name zero to display that current time hours plus colon plus minutes plus colon and then plus seconds let's save the file uh, go back to the control menu test it now this will show the current time for the first time and it will not get updated to update this time we need to call this function through timer let us define that event listener to the timer my timer dot add event listener and timer event and we need to define a function for this timer so my function name is update time which is assigned to the timer object now we need to start the timer my timer dot start start is a method which will start the timer and now let us define private function to the timer which is update time private function update time and event is timer event now inside this timer uh, inside this timer uh, function we need to define date object again my date equal to new date and then we need to assign hours minutes and seconds to the three variables hours equal to my day dot hours minutes equal to my day dot minutes and seconds equal to my day dot seconds we are just updating that variables here for every second so that it is possible for us to show update a time in the text box let's say my day dot seconds now we need to call that function update clock let us save the file go back to control click test to test the preview now we could see time is getting updated and we see that you know the seconds are updating now let's go go back to that update clock which is custom function we see seconds below 10 we, we we see that only the one digit and to see the two digits number till 10 we are supposed to use that one if condition and then let's convert that variable into string and we need to find out that length if it is less than 2 we just need to add 0 to it and then we can display the same along with the 0 if string of seconds dot length is less than 2 is less than 2 then seconds equal to 0 plus seconds save go back to control menu click test now we, we could see that 0 along with that seconds if seconds are in single digit then we see that 0 along with it now let us apply the same logic to the minutes even if string of minutes that length is less than 2 let's update that minutes minutes equal to 0 plus minutes
save now we just need to write a condition to display that hours in 12 hours format earlier it was 24 hours format now let's try to put it in 12 hours format so a small condition for this if hours is greater than 12 if hours are greater than 12 then hours equal to hours minus 12 save the file test it earlier it was showing 24 hours time now it is showing the 12 hours time 5 pm so now again hours digit is single let us try to add that 0 to hours also with the same logic string of hours dot length is less than 2 we can add hours equal to 0 plus hours so that hours number is less than 10 then it will add 0 to it if it is greater than or equal to 10 then it will show you as it is let's save the file test it we could see that 0 along with that hours along with us we could see that you know the uh, zero added to the hours now let's save all the files let us go back to that stage now let us duplicate the text field to display am pm since our time is 12 hours uh, our time is in 12 hours format we just need to display am pm let us name the object name as in am pm and let us change the font size and size of the text object also and we need to place in a correct place let's take the example text as am and we need to place it in correct place let's lock the layer and let's save the file let us go back to the base class now within our custom class within our class custom class we just need to write one more condition to find out am rpm if hours are greater than 11 Oh, there was a mistake that uh, earlier it was 11 it is supposed to be 12 let's go back to the current if condition to display am pm if hours are greater than 11 am pm txt the text equal to am sorry it must be pm it must be pm am pm txt dot text equal to pm if it is greater than 11 then else am pm txt dot text equal to am if it is less than 11 it must be am if it is greater than 11 it must be pm let's save the file let us go back to that control menu to test it and we can see the time in 12 hours format along with that am pm so this is how that we can display digital clock with continuous update thank you for watching have a great day